Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Strings and Gale. Before I start my lesson today, make sure that you have watched my previous videos so you would be able to follow on each of my lesson. I will put the links in the description box. Today, we are going to talk about the notes on the violin. So why is it important to know the notes on the violin? It's important because you can't actually play music without knowing where the notes are located. Remember that violin has no frets unlike the guitar. Most violins has plain and black fingerboard. Well, mine has dots. I bought this violin so that it would be easier for me to teach violins for beginners. So, if you have a violin with plain and black fingerboard, then you need to be very careful when you play so that you would be able to hit the right notes to produce a better and a beautiful sound. I'm going to tell you how notes are called. We have the letters and its equivalent to sofa syllables. Let's start with letter C. It is the same as DO. And we have D, which is also the same as RE. And then we have E, which is also the same as MI. And then we have F, which is also the same as FA. We have G, which is also the same as SOL. We have A, which is also the same as LA. And we have B, which is also the same as T. And we have C, which is also the same as DO. As you can see, we have C from the bottom and we have C from the top because that's what we call octave. As you count them, they, there are eight notes. We have DO, RE, MI, FA, SOL, LA, TI, DO. <laughs> Each string of the violin holds a single note. We have the first string which is E or Mi. We also have the second string, which is A or La. And then we have the third string, which is D or Re. And then the last string, which is G or Sol. I'm going to show you the picture of the notes of the violin so you could follow and understand while I'm explaining it farther. So, we have two terms, which are half step and full step. Half step is about jumping to one note from the first note. Again, half step is about jumping to one note from the first note. For example, on the G string, which is your fourth string, that is your first note. Your first note is G or Sol. Now, the half step from G note or Sol note is Sol sharp or G sharp. That's half step. Now, full step, on the other hand, is about jumping to the second note from the first note. For example, on the G string again, jumping to the second note would be La. Now let's continue the process. Let's start with A or La note on the G string. Now half step from A note, half step from A note is A sharp or La sharp. So this is A or La, half step from La is La sharp. And full step from La is D or B. There's an exemption for B or D note. We don't have B sharp or T sharp for it. Therefore, half step from B 
for T is the natural do. Half step from B or T is the natural do because we don't have B sharp. It's an exemption. Now let's continue by repeating the same process. Let's start with do on the fourth string. So that's do. Half step from do is do sharp. This is do and this is do sharp. Now full step from do is re. That's re. You can use your pinky finger or you can play the third string of the violin because it's just the same note. This is re and this is re. Let's jump on the third string of the violin which is also called D or Re. Now half step from D is Re sharp or D sharp. It's just the same. Don't be confused guys. So this is Re. This is Re sharp. And full step from Re is Mi. This is Re. Re sharp. Mi. There is an exemption for Mi note as well. We don't have Mi sharp for it. Therefore, half step from Mi is the natural Fa. So this is Fa. Mi. Fa. Now half step from Fa is Fa sharp. Full step from Fa is Sol. Sol. And then half step from Sol is Sol sharp. And then, full step from Sol is La. Or you can also play the La note on the second string. It's just the same. We have La on the third string. And then we have La on the second string. Now, half step from La is La sharp. This is La sharp. And then, full step from La is T or B. Since we don't have B sharp or T sharp, then the next note to T or B is the natural Do. So half step from natural Do is Do sharp. This is Do and this is Do sharp. And then half step from Do sharp is Re. And then half step from Re is Re sharp. And then full step from Re is Mi. Or you can also use the first string as Mi. It's just the same. We have Mi here on the second string. And then we have Mi on the first string string and then since we don't have me sharp or e sharp half step from me is fa so this is fa we have me and then we have fa and then full step from me is fa sharp so this is 
far and this is far sharp and then we have sol half step from fa sharp is sol now full step from fa sharp is sol sharp so we have sol sol sharp and then half step from sol sharp is la so this is la and then half step from la is la sharp full step from la is t t so that's t and then since we don't have b sharp or t sharp next to t is the natural do now i'm going to play the do re mi fa sol ti do from middle octave to higher octave from the second string to first string of the violin so we have you know the notes on the violin then i think it's time to learn an easy song which is entitled the show by linka we have the first part and the first part is consisted with seven lines so these are the notes of the first part so we have mi mi re mi re mi 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 Re mi, re mi, mi. That's the first line, and then we have mi re mi so re, mi re mi so re, and then we have re do re do re, re do re, re do re do re. And then we have re re mi fa mi, re re mi fa mi. One more time, re re mi fa mi. And then we also have mi mi re do mi, mi mi re do mi. And then we also have mi mi re do fa mi la. Mi mi re do fa mi la, and then we also have fa fa mi re do re do, fa fa mi re do re do. So this is the second part. These are the notes, which is consists consisted of nine lines for the second part. So let's start with mi fa re. Sounds like this, mi fa re. So that's mi fa re, and then re mi do, re mi do, and then do 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 do, and then we have do la la fa so mi, do la la fa. One more time, do la la fa so mi, and then we have for the fifth line it's re mi fa re, re mi fa re. One more time, re mi fa re, and then we have do re mi do, do re mi do. One more time, do re mi do, and then we have la do re mi fa so, la 
So mi so, one more time. So mi so, so la mi, so la mi. Re mi fa mi re do re. That's the last line. Re mi fa mi re do re. One more time. Re mi fa mi re do re. All right, so let's try the song with the bow. So I'm going to be using a half bowing um, upper part of the bow from tip to the middle part of the bow. And I'm just going to use a down and up movement for this song, okay? So this is the first part. These are the notes. And listen carefully so you would be able to know how it sounds like, okay? So let's have the first part. We have again down and up movement and just half part of the bow and then yeah listen carefully so you would be able to know how the second part sounds like okay one two three play Just repeat the first part and the second part again. That's it for today, guys. I hope you learned a lot from me. I know that I'm just a self-taught musician, but still I'm doing my best to teach you as long as I can. If you want to ask something, just comment down or just follow or message me on my social media, just right here. <laughs> and yeah, see you on my next violin tutorial. Bye!